Hello everyone. That was our brand new trailer made by Sir Heckalot, who is just the just the best bean ever. Thank you so much, friend. Uh, if you want to see more of their work, check out like everything over at Neon Lights. They're so creative. A wonderful person. Go hire him to do all the things. Um, but welcome! We are the Lost Caravan RPG. We do one-shots, mini-series, and long-running campaigns. If it's TTRPG, we pretty much do it all. Tonight, we are playing episode 3 of our Avatar Legends campaign. A game that I have absolutely fallen in love with. Though I think it's mostly because of this crew, because they're so uh, just awesome to work with. But, before we dive into it, we do have a very few small amount announcements to go through the first is that our casting call for next month is open you can either find that on our twitter at lostcaravanrpg.com or you can join our discord the link is down below with that big old button that says discord it's where we post things like casting call schedules and just generally hang out and be giant nerds other than that if you miss any of our streams you can find them on our youtube channel it's just lost caravan rpg at youtube and you can also check out our website where we sell some cool Lost Caravan branded merch, uh, as well as where you can learn more about the team behind the stream and the community that helps to support us. I think that's pretty much it. That's all I got. I am going to pass it on over, give everyone a chance to tell you who they are and who they're playing tonight. And how much they trust Don. We'll go clockwise starting for me, which means that we are starting with Caitlin, as I am noticing that the, the names are wrong. Hold on. Hey. <laughs> go ahead. Great. Hey, everybody. I am Caitlin. Uh, I'm Caitlin Kenny. Uh, tonight, I will be playing Mayari Besho. A uh, chronically ill waterbender of the successor playbook. Um, and what was, how does Mayari feel about Dawn? Mm -hmm. There can, does not want to trust this person whatsoever, has a fully calculated, like, imaginary board in her mind palace that has all these strings connected to Dawn and every criminal network whatsoever. Uh, but. <laughs> Kim really likes Don, so there's conflicted feelings there. Kim has stated that Don is her father. Yeah. Doesn't believe that in any any sense of the, the phrase, but has stated it. Yep. So, yes, conflicted. All right. Uh, that brings us over to Matt. Hello, I'm Matt, improv and RPG everywhere. And um, I don't know how Faye feels about Dawn right now. This is the first time Faye has seen Dawn. Um, but I would say that the fact that, you know, this person may have bamboozled um, his, his new best friends, um, he's going to do his best to whoop that ass. <laughs> <laughs> and as we've seen, you do not mess with Faye. In, in any sort of hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's not going to go well for you. <laughs> yeah, because I don't play fair. <laughs> now look at these things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to go unconscious, but so are all of you. <laughs> Got <Gosh>, Bob. <laughs> Love it. Call that the mic drop. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, over to x -Tel. Uh, hey everybody, I'm Xtel. I'm gonna be playing Ember Zosaya, the um, Prodigy playbook uh, Firebender, and um, pronounce he him, both of ours. Um, and how do how do I feel about that? Well, this is Kim's dad, so I guess I can't beat him up. And he's old; he probably couldn't take it. I'm too strong anyway. So that's true. That's true. it's fine. Yeah. I uh, over bust out the diamond bending and it's like, oh, okay. 
over to Winter. Hello, uh, my name is Winter. I'll be playing Day Zizin this evening. And Day has never met this person, so <laughs> he has no opinion. <laughs> He's going to yep. go with the group and see where it goes. Yes. Fair enough. I feel like Day in general just tends to give people the benefit of the doubt until they have proven otherwise. Oh yeah, absolutely. Then he, then he beats you with a stick, but until <laughs> then... <laughs> get one chance to you prove that one. you're a good person. Everybody gets one. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Speak softly and carry a big stick, you know? <laughs> yeah! You know? It'd be uh, like this sometimes. And we are unfortunately missing one for tonight. Nicole was not able to join us, but um, everything's all right. We're just dealing with some life issues, and that's... We all have them. It happens. Uh, Kim will be off on her own journey, and we'll see where that leads next time. But that just leaves me. Of course, I am Andrew, your storyteller for tonight's game and for most games around here. Although you are going to see a bunch of friendly faces behind the GM seat in the coming weeks. Because we have a bunch of great people that want to tell a bunch of great stories. We are here to support it. Oh. Right. Got just a hair. I'm so pumped. Mm -hmm. And dive into just a little bit of recap. So, last time, we did some exploring of the city, went through some, some of the shopping districts, met a brand new friend who uh, immediately came over and started revealing all of our deepest, darkest secrets. And uh, Kim said, you stay away from me. <laughs> but it's only a matter of time right um he ran into a a tea a tea shop owner who was very exasperated that she along with a bunch of other store owners had been robbed mostly it's just knickknacks small little things um, but recently it has been growing in value of the things that are being stolen. So being the good Samaritans that you are, as the local law enforcement has not done anything to stop it, you decided to set up a stakeout. And happened to catch some individuals who could seemingly just disappear from the street finding that they indeed can bend glass. They can shatter it on touch and basically cause it to just hover in the air as this minefield of glass shards and then replace it just exactly like it was. Which was not enough to stop you all from absolutely just stomping them. Mostly Faye, who took a majority of the fight into the alleyway and blew everybody up, including himself. Um, while the rest of you face down the supposed leader in the street, who did surrender eventually, but also acknowledged that you don't really have any authority. You can kind of just leave whenever. Is you're either going to kill him or arrest him, and you've proven you're not going to kill him, and you don't have the authority to arrest him, so he offered you a deal. He'll take you to the the, the gang's hideout in exchange for just turning your backs and pretending like you never met each other. We had a short walk with some enlightening conversation before you were led to more of an abandoned part of a public city over a manhole cover where he stomped a few times in a certain pattern and then turned and then walked away. 
as he did while called after and asked him what his name was, and he said his name was Zai. As the manhole cover lifted up and scooted off to the side, none who else could it possibly be <laughs> but Kim's father, the the absolute most kind and generous and honest man that anyone has ever met or seen or heard of in their lives, Don. The same old man that was so kind to him and Mayari on that initial boat ride and stole some very precious things from him. But as his head poked up, he got one look at all of you and immediately started to climb back down. So, what would you all like to do? Ember's gonna rush forward <laughs> and pull the manhole cover off. You! <laughs> it's like half a step. And that those covers are heavy. So it's not like he in any world could he get that whole cover back up before you could close the disc. Uh, why are you running away? <laughs> well, it's good to see you again. Uh, Your names uh, were Kim and Ayari. You're looking very right. well. Are, are we? Are we looking well? Are we looking like we might be missing something? Are we looking like? Someone might have been pretending to be our friend, but then stolen something from us and running a crime ring in the sewers? Oh, that sounds awful. You should, you should notify the authorities. Whoever that is, they need to be brought to justice. You know, I'm going to go look for them and starts like climbing down. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Just reach out and you want to grab him. All of you are physically much stronger than this, like, 60, 70-year-old man. <laughs> <sighs> All right. I do apologize to you. It was my way of inviting you to my home, to understand. I feel like there are better ways to do that, you know, like a like an invitation, like a like a literal. It's a card that just says like your location and maybe some pleasantries that you put in the mail and then give to someone and then they come to your place. Not in yeah, my profession. Starts to look around, seeing that you're all causing a, a bit of commotion. Come on, I promise I won't run, but I want to stand up there. Uh, what's up here? Nothing. Just look very odd doing it. You look odd talking to us from a sewer. <laughs> Fair enough. Ember's Still. <laughs> Would you please accompany me to my home so that we may speak at an even level? I look at everybody else. I mean, I have to get my notebook back, so... <laughs> It'd be nice right. to sit down for a second. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yes. Come yeah. on. Oh, again, finish climbing down. The ember will go last. All right. Day will kind of new, uh, like bow a little bit so Faye can get like up one and uh, Day's back so you can climb down with Faye, make it a little easier because Faye oh is kind gosh. of dying. <laughs> Yes, true, true. <laughs> if you could, if you could hold my staff while we descend, that would be most appreciated, Faye. Uh, of course, thank you, Jay. Of 
plus. So sweet. Um, I imagine that uh, Kim starts to try to help Mayari down, but I think Mayari would throw a glare over at Kim, or like basically going, I was right, and then starts <laughs> to go down on her own. Um, and getting to the bottom is absolutely winded. <laughs> But it's fine. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, by the time you reach the bottom, it looks about like what you would expect. It's dank. It smells. Everything is just wet. And Dawn just claps a few times. And one by one, these... Torches just kind of flick to life, getting further down. Wow. Yes, yes, it's all very impressive. That's Come so on. Cool. Wait, wait, um, is that technology or are you a firebender? No, it's it's modern technology. Hmm. Like claps a few more times and one by one the torches go out. <laughs> the Fire Lord's yep. palace is much more grand than this, I'm just saying. Yes, indeed it is. Indeed I, it I, is. I I dare say it is. Strange to compare the Undercity to a, something as a, a king's palace. Amber, but I compare everything, every place to that place. It is a standard that must be set. If you're constantly looking to the past, you may be blinded to your future. He he opens his <laughs> mouth to say something, <laughs> but then he just he goes <laughs> and he <laughs> starts walking. <laughs> <laughs> how, how dare you be correct? <laughs> how dare he go? Now that we're back on solid ground, they would offer a arm to Mayari, seeing as Mayari is also dying along with Faye at this point. Um, Mayari will look at the arm, look back at Kim, and then take Day's oh. arm. Oh. So now we have Day with his staff, with Faye on one, Faye on one side, Mayari on the other. Kim is just oh kind of sped up a little and I'm... is walking side by side with Dawn. It's cool in here with all the shade. <laughs> I, I had an embers like stomping off ahead away from the gang, and we're just this slow moving units down yes. the sewer. <laughs> Don't mess with us. We're all chronic. We're all cripplingly ill right now. Right? <laughs> it's a good pace, I feel like. Good solid pace. So, yep. Uh, um, is there anything that all, any of you would like to do while you are walking? It is a little bit of a trek. Uh, what else are we seeing down here? At the moment, not sparse? much. Yeah. The occasional, you know, uh, bat, snake rat. Yes. Nice. Um, I'm going to use a move. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pick it. We're, we're going hard right away. I challenge this old man to an egg and cat. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> 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 right here, right now. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to use the move judging a rival from my playbook. Oh, okay. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to roll with focus. Uh, let's see, that is. Ooh, that's a that's a miss. <laughs> oh no! Do anything it's on a, a miss? Yeah, it's a it's a total of six. I missed it by that much, like really one. Uh, yeah, uh, on a miss. Um, so they get to, so if I had rolled 
correctly or better i would have gotten to ask questions but instead uh on a miss they get they notice me watching them and they get to ask me one of the questions from the list <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> good i need to pull up my playbooks <laughs> it's on page 196 so close Literally one more, one more, and I would have gotten it. I'm just saying. Damn. The dice give up and the dice take up away. Yeah, I got a, I got a six from. The... There we are. Uh, what page was it? Uh, one ninety six. First move. Oh, that's not the right book. I have the PDF. There it is. Okay. I know I have it. Oh no, the other Avatar Legends TTRPG. How'd you get the two confused? <laughs> There's one that's just like a campaign outline document. Oh, okay. mm. All right. 196. What are your weaknesses and strengths? How can I show you dominant slash submission? What do you intend to do next? Or what do you wish I do right now? Wow. What do you wish I'd do right now? Be honest. Just kind of catches your your calculated glance out of the corner of his eye, and locks eyes for just a second, and swear that he's just reading you in that instant, and turns back away. Just around the corner. And from this distance, you can all start to smell very faint wood burning smoke, but also stale alcohol, tobacco, other very acrid substance. Oh, we found we found one of the good clubs. Nice. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they would ask Faye and Mayari as they're walking. So, friends, what can you tell me of this man? It seems you're already acquainted with him. Uh, well, we, Kim and I, met him on the boat we were on before the storm slash monster attack. Um, and seemed like an okay person. Uh, but then, you know, just talked about his weird little store that was in Republic City somewhere that was filled with knickknacks. And then next thing we know, we're leaving the boat and everyone's missing a knickknack. Mm. Oh, also he has a badger mole. I don't think I've ever seen a badger mole outside of that badger mole, but. Mm. Badger moles can be quite large and intimidating. Yeah, this one was smaller, I think. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. kind of just hanging out. Yeah. Interesting. So, like, maybe you... 20 pounds? Yeah, like, really small. Like a baby. Have you come... You're an Earth Kingdom person, too. I am, you know, Have yes. you come across badger moles in your time? I'm aware of them. I do, I do not do much roll travel, where you would find them in the mountains and other wildlands, but I'm aware of their existence. And yes, they can go quite large and intimidating, yet, as you see, this one was small and very much unlike its larger fellows. Mayhap it is not too unlike Don himself. So he may appear to be some form of scoundrel or ruffian, but 
There may be more amongst the company he keeps that repose bigger threats still. Maybe. And if he is willing to treat with us, despite being a criminal that is taken from you, <laughs> perhaps there is more he meets the eye. What say you, Faye? What is your take on this man? Yeah, well, um, uh, I, I'm just on board with whatever Mayari wants to do here, because me, I this is my first time meeting him, and uh, he seems sketchy, sketchy hmm. as hell. So, I'm ready. I'm ready. And also, if there's if there's a tiny creature, Zwak is ready too. <laughs> Thank you for reminding yeah, me sorts. to get my Zwak dice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, no. That's a fight I'd that. put money down on. <laughs> well, you know. I am sorry. I'm sorry. Zwak can keep us safe from any fauna that may seek to harm us. But given as Zwak. Mayari is the, <laughs> thank you, Zwak. <laughs> as Mayari is the aggrieved party here, I agree that it is wise to follow her her lead. Right. I mean, I was mostly. I well, I need to get my notebook back, and Kim needs to get her necklace. But I don't know. After meeting Zai, I'm a little. I'm just. I haven't been in Republic City long. Obviously, we've just got here, but it feels like. I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. Hmm. For my little time here, I too have sensed some murmurings and discontent <laughs> amongst the populace. I simply wrote it off as me being unaccustomed to this city, but you may be on to something. These crimes, this clandestine organization within the sewers, there's something bigger here. Faye, are you I'm from sorry, Republic's? But... Oh, sorry, Day. No, 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 please. I am I'm I'm ramble playing. <laughs> I have a tendency to No, do no. I, you're fine. I just I for some reason, Faye, are you are you from Republic City? Have you been in these nope. sewers before? Is this, this a is thing? My first time. First time, and I'm I it's kinda nice. You know, it reminds you of home a little bit down here. Wait, why does this remind you of home? Just the smell. <laughs> Do you? Ah. Are you used to dwelling in the sewers, Faye? No, it just doesn't smell very nice where I live. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Hmm. Well, I hope you find Republic City to be more aromatic than from yeah, once you came. up there, definitely. Right. Well... As you all round into this opening passage, you find that you're stepping into a chamber with a fairly low ceiling, but much more well illuminated. You can even start to hear voices. Areas furnished with very battered tables, mismatched chairs, and countertops and just a handful of patrons that pay you absolutely no mind as you step in. Don just turns to you all. Welcome to the Shadow's Haven. Thanks. And I need to roll for Zwak. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> uh... What's going on? <laughs> oh no! An eleven is to get into a fight. <laughs> something rare that would exist in the area. Ah <laughs> yes! Uh, Use yeah, rule locked. level six. Is that what happened? An eleven. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm gonna offer it to you first, Faye. Okay. This is an an 
illicit um, uh, fencer's den. So, uh, I'll, I'll give you time to think about it. Yes. What kind of rare thing do you think that Zwak would come up with? And if you need some, some time... I want something bigger than Zwak is. So it's like when he comes up to me, it's just like, I don't know, like a helmet or something that, that he's just kind of like pushing along. <laughs> That's what I'm picturing. Just something bigger. <laughs> this piece of armor that yeah. um, most, if not all of you, would recognize as having Fire Nation insignia on, on it. But like old Fire Nation insignia. Oh my gosh. Is is he bringing it up to me right now? I mean, as you stop and just look around, Walk hasn't even had time to scope this area out yet. <laughs> but you just feel the tugging on your leg <laughs> and just you know, lifting up the helmet, which is bigger <laughs> than he is. Swak, what Oh my gosh. Um if I if I immediately recognize the insignia, I'm gonna I'm gonna lift it up and put it under my robes, and just just a little quick little head pat. Uh, welcome to the Shadows Haven. Anything that you need, well, we're pretty sure we can find it for you. As you know, he stole it from us. A conveyor of knickknacks. Now, he's still missing a book of sorts, correct? Notebook, yeah. Leather bound, dark brown strap around it. My you, initials on the front. You believe I've seen something like that? Take a look through our stocks. Tim was mentioning a necklace, I believe. Well, while I go look, why don't you all mingle, get to know everyone, and I'll be back just as soon as I can. And a coin if you have it. Fire Nation. Arcanist. Yes, yes. Coin belonging to the fight. That should that should stick out pretty well. So turn and just now full on whistling in a very good mood. We'll just oh. kind of saunter off back to backwards. Now, however, you do have everyone's attention. How's it going? Individual behind the makeshift bar just comes over. Calling a few jugs of something and a planting them there on the bar. What can I get you? What do you have? Nothing good. <laughs> well, that's not selling it. <laughs> Just uh, like home. <laughs> it's it's kind of an older figure, like long, dark brown hair that's kind of been pulled back into a ponytail, uh, and just like one series of scars down the right side of the face, almost kind of on the edge of the right eye. And you can see the telltale sign of someone that has been in a, a lot of fights. Um, like someone who's won or lost a lot of fights. <laughs> little they, little a bee. Okay. <laughs> All right. You would not happen to have any tea available, would you, sir? <laughs> see what I can do for you. Not the tea crowd around here. Hmm. Well, th I thank you. Towards the rest of you. Whatever's freshest, I guess. So you're all new down here. I take it. What? Yeah. All right. 
<laughs> Everyone's got to start somewhere. Where'd they pick you up? You, uh... Be doing some some robbing on the road, some some hijacking, some uh, what was it? Yeah, we were we were out with Zai. It was a uh, first job, uh, pretty chill. Oh, you were you're uh, last benders then. Yep. Yeah. That's who we are. <laughs> well, I am Doc sorry. Opens his mouth and just... I'll just <laughs> elbow, elbow to the ribs. <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> I am sorry about your profession, then. Imagine that'll be going away Fine. soon enough. Oh, yeah, the the glass, yeah. It's, it's the glass. Tough, tough, tough line of business, honestly. Because cause people are making less windowed places. The modernization. Changing up how they make the glass. Don't ask me. You'd all know more about this than I would, but I just heard... Something about the courts and the sand and whatever their their process is going on. Not to bed. That's why they didn't the newer buildings. Yeah. That place called Crystal Horizon Glassworks, I think. Yeah, yes, exactly. The place I was, you beat me to it by just by just a second, honestly. Yeah. I was gonna say. Sure. Uh, you know, yeah, they, it was way easier when they made it with, you know, I won't bore you with the details, but, you know, <laughs> tough line of work here. Honestly, he, he keeps, like, looking at my own. You know. She just thumbs up. <laughs> good, good stuff. Uh, um, and then, then I lean, I, like, lean closer, like, on the bar, and I'm going to say, if you don't mind, I, can I ask you a question? Sure. Well, tonight. What what made you uh what made you you know start working here? Not many places will take a washed out pit fighter. Don's a pretty good pit fighter, huh? Like steps to the side and kind of like brushes some dust off the posters far behind him. <laughs> And it's just these, like, depictions of a fairly younger individual, you know, standing in these, these victorious, like, captured moments. And it's just championship after championship after this rising career of a fighter. And then the scent of a fighter. What's the name on the posters? Name is Chance. Are you? One and only. A tough break. It happens. Some of us are just meant to have our five minutes of fame and the rest of your lives in the sewers. What was it like? How did you, how did you like recover, you know, like losing your purpose like that? Like I did. I think, uh, I think I was lost for a while. Until I met Dawn. Found that I wasn't the only one. Got to meet a bunch of folks who felt lost just the same as I did. Gave him a place to feel at home. So, you don't have any regrets? Like, you like your new life? I don't think it pays to have regrets. 
Not like I can go back and change it, right? Yeah. Well, sorry. <laughs> I didn't come here to hear advice from me. I just he'll slide over a couple, you know, cups of something. It doesn't smell great, but it's something. What's it taste like? Dying <laughs> yeah. respectively takes a little sip and sip. It's a little sweeter than you might imagine, but it still does taste like. Like wine that wasn't quite aged properly, so it's got a little bit of that acidic nature to it where it shouldn't. But otherwise, it's tolerable. Like a like a fine Earth Kingdom orange wine. Spot mm. on. Thank you. <laughs> sure. I mean, honestly, it tastes like crap, but <laughs> not wrong. It uh, it gets the job done, I guess. At this point, you'd hear Don coming back out with some stuff in tow. Just kind of set it all down there in the corner. Notebook, necklace, coin, and just a few other trinkets. Out. That, that should be everything. Um, I will immediately go over and grab the notebook and open it and see if it is my notebook. Absolutely. It's undamaged. It's been treated very well. I will like... check. Go ahead. Oh, it's, it's just like she holds it really tight to her before shoving it quickly into her bag and like making sure everything is secure. <laughs> I will rush over and check and see if the coin is my coin. It is. Early days. It turned into a necklace or something. All right. <laughs> well. Thank you. Thank you for returning the items you pilfered from my friends, Mr. Don. Of course. I had no intention yeah, but... of keeping them. Just wanted to make sure that the sense I was getting from you. Mm. What was that? That you have a destiny about. I can't quite put my finger on it, but there's a destiny there. You sensed it as well, then. Hard to miss. <laughs> Right? Maybe what you're well, sensing it. is having had a destiny and then losing it. Uh, perhaps you just need time to see it for you. Hmm. In fact, if you'd like a little nudge towards your destiny, I could use help with something. Don't stealing. So excited, <laughs> I'm so pumped. <laughs> if it, if it's stealing, I'm not doing it. No, 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 no. I, I believe me, we have others that are, and, and no offense, much more capable at that task. None taken. I'm not a stealer. I don't do that. But I feel none of us are particularly inclined to the criminal arts. Yeah, none of us. <clears throat> absolutely none. We are all upstanding, law-abiding individuals with absolutely no history of theft or any such activity. Wise words, Day. Wise words. In fact, I would absolutely chew out any of my friends that I encountered stealing any items from anyone in my vicinity at any time. No worries. I would consider it a massive breach of trust, and I do not know if I would be able to remain friends with such an individual. And he's just looking at Faye the entire time he says that. <laughs> but you should give it a try sometime. Did I miss something? 
I'm sure it's fine. The only thing that I would ask of you is your silence dealing with me. As you have overheard since you've been down here, like looks over at chance. Some of our more skilled employees have been having a bit of a go at the, the their bending art. Now, this means that in order to practice their skills, there are very few neighborhoods that they can do so. We'd like to change that. We'd like someone, someone new to Republic City that maybe doesn't have a reputation or wouldn't be noticed by sight or recognized by anyone. Go in, get their recipe for glass blowing and return to us that we could find a way around what they've done isn't is there still stealing uh, uh. taking anything away from them we're just getting information or if you could convince them to go back to their old ways, that would work as well. With well, all due respect, Don, I feel there's a bigger issue here that is not being addressed. Even if we were to get the information you seek, that would merely be facilitating the cycle of thievery and corruption that you are part of. And I do not mean to judge that behavior, but... Misunderstand what I we do, my issue. friend. Then enlighten me. We provide a service for the city. All right, go ahead. A service. Then from my perspective, it seems that you are a group of individuals, for whatever reason, have resorted to crime to get by. Mm -hmm. And that is a tragedy that you would have to do so. But what is the cause of that? Uh, means that the reason that you require to resort to thievery when there are plenty of other upstanding services that could be applied. And glass blowing, and the glass bending even, that is a rare gift. Why employ it stealing and committing crimes? Surely you could employ it to creating infrastructure perhaps, works of art. Why resort to this? Have you ever felt lost? Like the world moved on and left you standing still? Well, that's what everyone down here feels. Yes, we have talented glass benders. We're left behind. Who have tried to move on with their lives, but modern technology renders them useless. They have no hand at art, they have no desire for art. And we provide the service that this city desperately needs. We provide a harmless filler for what could be a much more deadly sect within this city. Some form of necessary evil, you say? Yes. We deal in trade goods that harm no one. Things that would simply be discarded, otherwise lost. Minor crimes that go back into the city, hurting its people. Like you said, necessary evil. But there are certain things that the people up there hold dear to them, that are precious to them, that have been taken. That is why I was out there supposedly training some of the new arrivals in Republic City. They've been going very brash, been going outside of the script, if 
We do have our own laws down here. I feel like if you're going to steal, better you steal from people who aren't going to miss what you've stolen. Exactly. I'm in. Good. Mm. They're not going to miss My you. understanding that the people who've been stolen from have missed the things. And I am working... Wasn't that the tea shop owner who approached you fame? Yeah. yeah. Missing some of their wares that they use to support yes. themselves. Li Ming. Are you familiar with Li Ming? Very kind woman, yes. Right. She was missing things, as well as some of the other vendors that are struggling to get by. I... Those things will be returned, on my word. Yes? But, but what I think Don is trying to get at, and what Zai was trying to get at, is that they can't access the 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 newer corporate buildings they can't get into these places where people are so high up the food chain they're not going to care about what happens at their factory level right now they're having to to steal from a tea shop owner and so on and so forth but if we do this they can steal from someone who's you know going to lose their uh, uh, Fire Lord torch money. Perhaps they'll never have to steal again. I am conflicted. I see the wisdom in pursuing this operation for the good of the downtrodden. <laughs> However, I have always been brought up with the understanding that it is the duty of those on top to ensure that those without such means do not have to resort to this criminality, this debasement. Don, you don't strike me as someone who enjoys what you do. Oh, but I do. And what I do is help people who are lost. Such Sorry, as yourselves. I, I mean, I, I should clarify. You, don't, you do not seem to take joy from the theft itself. No. You are correct. And I do not believe these glass vendors who are forced to steal to survive want to steal to survive. We are not dealing with malicious folk. We are dealing with lost and desperate people. So why is it that Sense. Republic City, this great metropolis, this city of luxury and industry, why do these people exist in such a state? That, I feel, is the bigger issue. Back in my, back in my home of the Earth Kingdom, my family contributed large sums of money to ensure that everyone was able to receive a fine education, jobs why is that not the case here day not every family of wealth is going to be as kind and giving as your family i know that seems like that is the issue it does not matter what recipes or what glass is used the issue it is, is the issue the issue but is coming from not from below. Yeah, but when you can't, when you don't have the arsenal to fight at that level, you you can't take them on. Who says they we have, have resources? Why why are we resorting to violence here? We have we have our, our words, we have our understanding, we have our patience, we have the tools we need to make change. We simply need the will to fight that fight. 
Not a scale on the not a scale on the timeline that these people need. For the record, I support your argument. Mayari, it seems you have been through experiences that I cannot fathom. And I do not wish to discredit your perspective. I will aid you in your fight. But all I ask is that you aid me in mine. Let me try to set some change. And if I fail, then I have your back. Is that agreeable? I mean, I don't see why we can't do both at the same time. I'm just letting you know that to these people, money is the bottom line. Perhaps someday we will all time. gather together and toast over the great equality, the great empire of humanity that is Republic City. Until that day, I will continue to fight for those that have no one to fight for them. And you, I'll have a date with the glass blower, I do believe. Yeah. But not tonight. You all look. Let's. Let's skip to the colorful commentary. You don't look up to the task. We all could use a good night or two to rest. Of course. We gain our senses yeah. and our strength. Go, so, get some rest. Chance will ensure that you have breakfast waiting for you in the morning. And... Should you need any sort of training equipment to prepare yourselves, just let us know. Meanwhile, Kim, I speak with you privately. Don't worry. Come back unharmed. Um, and if she doesn't, we know how to find you. Exactly. Not as if I could outrun you. Hmm. Uh, quick question. I'm sorry. Now. I'm still... Oh, sorry, Day. I was going to say I can. I am sort of Kim can take care of herself. <laughs> in any event, flexes those earthbender muscles. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Stay safe. I think, uh, from what I'm getting from McCall, Tim would give you a very heartbroken but hopeful look, and then turn and walk off. You all will have time to rest, which means that you can clear some of the damage you've taken. Um, if any of you would like a chance to remove some of the many conditions that we have, <laughs> that would be your opportunity. As uh, Dawn disappears, Chance just calls out from back behind the bar. Over there, far right, last room's in the back. It's nothing fancy, but safe, warm. Mostly dry. Hmm. Don't like the sound of that. Mostly Thank you. dry. <laughs> I mean, if it is if it is a little damp, I'm pretty sure you could you know take it out, right? I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Why? I'll humidify the dehumidify the space <laughs> by oh. water bending the the dampness. Out of the wait, you're a waterbender. Oh, 
Sorry. Uh, the guy's Glass. been in somewhere. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah. It's a special oh. kind. Yeah, you have all this glass in your blankets. You don't know anything yeah. about glass bending, do you? <laughs> yeah, you, you bend the glass and, you, and it does stuff. Oh, yes. No. What's over there? <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go. And I just shakes his head. I apologize for my comrade's duplicity. No, nothing to apologize for. I had some friends like that. Hold on to them. I will try to. Even when they're kicking and screaming and trying to get themselves hurt. Let's be there for them. It's what I do. Have a good night. Don't let uh, the wide assortment of bugs bite. As we as we walk, uh, Ember will look to Mayuri and say, "I don't, I don't like this, but I'll do it. Only until they can get the intention of the Fire Lord." We're supposed to be in peace. Trained my whole life for it. Wait. You you think you could get the Fire Lord to to help out? I don't know. But only until I can get the attention of him, I'll try. The army is supposed to help the world. That was our new mission after everything. If there's places that are suffering like this, then something's not being done right. Well, well, what does what did your army bring? Did they did they bring food, clothes, money? They've done many things for many different places, but apparently not everywhere. The only reason I feel like I'm fighting so hard for us to do this is because I don't know. I guess I feel a little guilty. I know what it's like up in those tall unbendable towers and they're not thinking about any of the people out here. They don't care about any of the people out here. I just... I don't want to be a part of that anymore. I mean, this isn't the answer either. But... I guess I'm going to have to serve as a substitution until we find the right one, right? For now. That's all. Good night. My number. Head off towards your rooms. A little more than a cot. Small water basin washing up and a a dresser which may or may not open and may or may not have someone else's stuff inside of it very good if it's damp i fire bend it to dry it <laughs> <laughs> and a split screen embers fire bending and mayari's water bending the damp away <laughs> <laughs> And the two not vendors are just like, oh, yeah, shit. <laughs> sit, sit in the moist. <laughs> um, like they me. will, they will make sure that Faye is comfortable in the room and all like relaxed and everything before walking to his own room. Unless Faye has anything to say. 
Um, I I'd imagine that like day like while while you're helping, Faye is gonna like be just mostly silent, and then like as you're about to leave, like if we if we make eye contact for a second, Faye is gonna be like, uh oh, there's something I needed to tell Kim. I'll 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 be right back. Um, right, uh, but... you're not good for walking right now. I can wait, or perhaps I can go catch them. Oh no, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I, I I think I'll be okay. I have I have Zwak to keep an eye out for me. So, but I, I appreciate you, Day. Yeah, just get get some rest, Bay. Anything that you have, it can wait. Yeah. Focus on yourself, please. You've done enough for us tonight. The least you can do is do something for yourself. Thank you, Day. And Faye is gonna like kind of wait for Day to go um, in into into their quarters, and then <laughs> Faye is gonna slip out. Essentially, I'm trying to clear my afraid condition, which <laughs> requires me to avoid or flee from a difficult or dangerous situation. <laughs> and uh, I think I'm, I'm I'm trying to flee from the possibility of having a difficult conversation. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh yeah. my gosh where are you mm-hmm. going yeah yeah i'm just gonna slip out and just kind of like chill in that outside area until i think that day is probably asleep so that if day has any inclinations i i won't be there <laughs> <laughs> okay. um i want to i want to believe that day like hears your door open and close and says Shakes his head and goes to sleep. <laughs> I mean, being the basically the last one that would be retiring for the evening, you would hear multiple groups of people coming and going, all greeting chance, sitting down, having a drink, talking about their day, just news, their travels. Um, it does seem like more and more people not associated with the memorial service to Avatar Aang are arriving to Okay. I guess every now and then, like, if I'd probably return to the table we were at, and I just have I'm like, I hope this is my cup. Um, and then every now and then I'll just kind of hold it up to whoever comes by, just like a we're all in this together kind of thing. You would see one individual come in um, who would have come by while you were asleep, but you have opted to stay up. Who full on, like, as they kind of pull their travel cloak to the side, did you see from, like, the the like point of the shoulder down it is mechanical hey did you did you make that and i'll just kind of gesture towards the mechanical arm figure like as they're about to take a seat up at the bar stops and in a voice much younger than you would expect. Why? It's beautiful. Saying that. No, I and then I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna dig in my pockets and pull out all these little mechanical bits that I've like attempted to finish and never got around to it. It's like, I maybe I had an idea and I started working on this. I'm like, oh, this would be perfect to light the lay or this would be perfect to, like, seal a door shut. And it's like, I just kind of end up stacking all these onto the table and say, no, I, I, I try to make stuff like this all the time, but it doesn't always work out. Would you like to do a move here? Oh, sure. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh. Let's go. Hang on. Hang on. There's a part of me with their response, it feels like a guide and comfort thing, but I have no idea what their mindset is. <laughs> Fair. What do you think? Uh, if you don't yeah. have one in mind, um, I might say, say this, this falls under rely on your skills and training. If oh. you are actively showing off something that you are very skilled at. Okay. <laughs> Showing off your skills and or training in this game. I'm on board. Yes. <laughs> That's so, much better than my <laughs> roll with your focus. <laughs> than my comforting. <laughs> okay. That's an eight. Beautiful. So it's as awkward as fame might be in these situations. Great. But that it's that endearing kind of awkward. Mm -hmm. And she does lower the hood, and it's just this long, very messy, matted hair that just kind of pools at her shoulders in the travel cloak. And she's maybe 19. That's pretty cool. Or did you learn how to do that? Well, back where I'm from, uh, you don't get a lot. So when you do get something, you try to make the most you can with it. And uh, this is this is the best I could do. Same. It's 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 been a long trip to get here. I'm just. Sorry, I just really need to get some sleep. I I understand. Do you have a room? Um, like looks over at Chance, just gestures back towards what kind of looks like might have been like old, like holding cells at one point, but now has been converted into you know these very tiny rooms that are just given uh -huh. to passing travelers. He just gestures towards the back. Find an empty one. Is that, like, much worse than the one I'm in? They're all pretty much the same. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. I, if they're holding cells, it seems like maybe they're sacrificing some privacy. Yeah. In that case, um, I'd like to toss my my key over to her. And say, hey, I, I don't know if I'll be able to sleep tonight. Um, but, you know, maybe you could do with being, having some alone time. I say no to that. Thanks. Uh, I didn't catch your name. It's Faye. Nice to meet you. Hey. Chen. Chen Tase. Chen Tase. It's, it's nice to meet you, Shen. Have a good rest. I put the name in chat for you. Oh, perfect. Thank you. I have not been able to spell any of the names right the first time. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think any of you that were still awake at this point or barely awake or light sleep would hear Day's door shut. Especially Day, if you've been waiting for Day to eventually come back. I think I, I think Day uh, I think Day would get up and walk over to the door and just knock on it. Like just making sure you're okay. Just making sure you're okay. okay. Door kinda opens a crack. And there's just the glint of a blade that's just like pointing upwards. <laughs> Who are you? What do you want? Um, I apologize. My companion was in this room. Um, I was just checking in because yeah. Oh, I'm in here alone. 
No, that, that, okay. All right. I'm, I apologize for intruding. Just, is Do he's it. gonna like <laughs> look around like <laughs> the door slowly shuts as you kind of scan the the open bar area and I assume that Faye went to go kind of in one of the more holding cell rooms. Right. Yeah. yeah Faye's nowhere to be seen. <laughs> A knock on my other friend's door. <laughs> <laughs> Mayori, Ember, have any of you seen Faye? Who? Oh, no. I haven't. There was a... I went to check on him and there was a stranger in his room with a... Who accosted me with a blade. So that was unsettling. I didn't, I didn't know... I didn't know... I didn't know feel... <laughs> Like people with blazes, when sure you didn't go to the wrong room? No, no, it's that room, it's the room I, I put Faye in, and now Faye is not there, and there is a strange woman with a knife. <laughs> is is it a I, 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 I understand, gonna... I understand for the process that one can <laughs> undergo, but that takes <laughs> normally much longer than an hour or so. So, I was Look, looking up. We, we... We have no right to like interfere with whatever Faye's got going on. What, what, no, what Faye not. does <laughs> in the damp bedroom, Faye does in the damp bedroom. You know what I mean? No, I, I fully respect his and or her right <laughs> however they were still live their life. However, I do not believe Faye... I also do not see uh, Zwak. If Zwak was there, I would be more assured that it was in fact Faye, but no Zwak, no Faye. Well, maybe that person you saw was Zwak. Maybe Zwak is really a person disguised as a penguin bee. Is Zwak a shapeshifter? A, sh a shape I bender? I I'm really tired. I understand, <laughs> I understand the desire to introduce levity into this situation. I appreciate the humor. However, <sighs> our friend is missing. It's okay. If you are tired. Yeah. I understand. You return to your slumber. I'll go look for him. I apologize Dang. for waiting for you. Dang, trust. I spent. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't recall how long with Faye on a boat. Faye disappears sometimes. It's a thing. Don't worry. He always comes back. Don't worry. It'll be okay. So that's just the thing Faye does. Yeah. I do wish you would have opened with that. <laughs> yeah, that, was way more, that was way more funny to see you panic a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> Just silently. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> All right. Anything else from anyone? I think Mayari will linger in the hall a moment and just see if she can he see or hear um, Kim coming back. Uh, no, nothing from Kim. And she will close the door. As we get ready the next day, Having a chance to heal, tend to our wounds, physical, emotional, spiritual, as they may be. Why don't we take a moment to give all of the players a break? Stretch your legs, grab a drink, do what we gotta do. And when we come back, we will finish the second half of this episode. So, uh, two, let's go. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Give us just a few minutes and we'll be right back. See you soon, everyone. And welcome back. When we left off, we'd finally gotten the night's rest after a harrowing evening of being vigilante heroes and putting a stop to and or aiding abetting a local crime ring. One of the two. 
Infinite. Heroes. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> one of our party decided to stay up and met a new friend, but eventually did also retire. Come the morning's it would be the morning's light if light hit anywhere down here, which it doesn't. But come the time that your natural internal alarms start going off, telling you that it's time to wake up, by Ari, you would find that on your little bedside uh, like dresser, there would be a note and... Pills? Pills seems like the wrong word. Some, some medicine. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll go over and, and try and read the note. Says, Sorry I couldn't join you, but please take it easy. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll hold the note a second and then tuck it into, I'll pull out the notebook and tuck it into the notebook and then back into my bag. Um, and take the pills. Are the pills ones I'm, are the medicine like ones I'm familiar with, or is this something I'm unfamiliar with? I feel like you'd be familiar with it, and it is signed from Kim. Okay, okay great. Then I will down it as I try to just move my limbs very stiff and achy in the morning, but I am up and ready to find out what sewer breakfast is like. Yes. Even yeah. as you're all waking up, you're you can hear this very odd bird call that just echoes through the entirety of this place. Their own... What would be a rooster for us? Oh. So whether you were already on your way up or dead asleep, this... Loud, obnoxious sound just echoes through everyone's <laughs> rooms. Um, I feel, yeah, I feel like Ember was already up, and and he had found a like a, a large enough like empty area that anyone who's come by just sees him going through forms and and doing like various uh, fire bending uh, practices. Mm. Mayari will, upon seeing Ember doing that, sit and just kind of lean back against the wall and then critique. But <laughs> not all the critiques are actually valid critiques, but she'll just start making up critiques just to throw them at Ember. <laughs> <laughs> now your foot's off right there. Mm. You need to turn it 90 degrees. Mm. I've been doing this all my life. I'm pretty sure I, I know what I, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Well, if you want it to be better, I'm just saying. <laughs> do you um, not? Do you not practice? Oh, I practice. I practice in here, <laughs> and then here. The the two of you would see the creature that let off this obnoxious alarm, which it. It stands about two feet tall. It is currently seated on the bar. Very feline-esque facial features. These long pointed ears. But as it's as you look down the rest of the body, it's this beautiful purple and rainbow colored pattern that kind of turns into these feathers that go all the way down to the base of this creature and to the tail, which is just this fan of beautifully colored long feathers. Catcock! <laughs> I was going to say peacock. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think that's a different stream. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thanks for coming, everybody. That's it. Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, our, our neighbor is uh, dead, it looks like. So, um, <laughs> good night, everybody. The game. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Drop a like. <laughs>
comment, and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope someone oh. clip that. I hope someone clip that. Oh, please, yeah. please somebody oh. clip it. Please, please someone clip that. <laughs> oh, my face. <laughs> Um, it, it is a cat peacock, yes. Aren't you a pretty little thing? Kind of shakes all the, the feathers at you and lets out a mixture between a purr and a caw and just takes a few steps towards you and then hits you with this very, what's meant to be friendly, but is a solid headbutt. Ooh. That is an aggressive, <laughs> aggressive, friendly gesture, friend. Um, hey, Ember, are they yeah. good luck or bad luck? I can't remember. Good? Nobody he good. also doesn't know. It's a guess. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not going to tell you that that's a guess because <laughs> it's payback. Um <laughs> <laughs> um, but he he finishes his his, his movements and he uh, again steam starts to rise off of him as like drying off his sweat and puts on his jacket. That's cool though. I get one of those in my house. You've got one of these? No, no, I should though, and help me get up earlier. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you have at your house? Uh, my dad. All right. Yeah. He would just, uh, he would, he would just, uh, if, if I got up too late, he would set coals right, right in front of my bed. So when I, when I got up, I'd have to walk on him. Is, is that like, for a firebender, is that like a, like a cute little thing, or is that still as freaky as I'm thinking of it? Normally, it would be it would be tolerable, but uh, he superheated him. So, oh, okay. So you had that kind of dad. Yeah, That's military my mom. dad. Yeah. 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 It's a it's a time, isn't it? Sure. Do you miss him? Too no. long. <laughs> oh, and you answered you answered no anyway. <laughs> I, know, I, uh, I love my dad, but I mean, uh, you heard what I just said, so yeah. you miss your mom. You can't have. Also too long. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's complicated. Always is, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you should definitely get one of these things. Uh, and I'll, like, try to pet... Give scritches to the cat peacock. <laughs> yeah. Very friendly. Loves attention. Just... It seems to be kind of un un uh, unaware of how physically strong it is. Just like knocks over tables as it turns to go back to the bar. Oh my gosh! Oh, <laughs> oh Faye! <laughs> Where'd oh, you Faye, sleep you last here? night? What is going on? <laughs> I've been here this whole time. You you've been here? Yeah. Uh, I, I I couldn't sleep in my room, so I asked for another one. Oh, uh, was it too damp? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, I found the same problem. L luckily, you know, he lights a fire in his hand. Yeah, I can't do that yet. Yet, yeah. I'll teach you. I'll teach you the forms. Maybe, maybe you could bring it out of you. Who knows? I would love that. Thank you. He doesn't do them all right, though. So just be aware of that when you're learning them from him. 
You know, you oh. keep saying that, but I don't see you doing any better. <laughs> in my mind. <laughs> Fair. Oh, Faye, who is in your room? Oh, that's uh, Shen, I think. Um, she's pretty cool. She's oh. got a. Um, <laughs> Yeah. She's got a sick arm. Oh? Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, what do you mean by sick? Sorry, as a sick person, just trying to. Oh, no. It's figure just. Out what you... It's really cool. Um, I I don't want to talk about it too much. I want. I, I mean, I would want her to show you if she's cool with it. Oh? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I showed I her some don't... of my stuff too. Oh, yeah. I was about to say I don't know how much higher Ember can get with his <laughs> O's, so maybe we should just meet Shen <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can go over to my old room and see if she's there. Yeah, you should be the one to knock, though. All right, I okay. <laughs> that's a weird thing to say okay yeah <laughs> i mean she it was like i will i whisper to ember she's pulled out a knife on day just feel like <laughs> i mean look again i don't i don't know what faye does in the bedroom it stays in the bedroom <laughs> no, no go ahead yeah oh Oh. <laughs> Faye's just gonna walk forward <laughs> and do a regular knock. Regular As opposed to what? <laughs> I was like just a, just a normal knock. Just Sexy like a, knock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the most sensual <laughs> knocks. Just just an innocent knock. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You know. It's making me second guess my knock game now. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I, got a knife probe on me. <laughs> I am the one who knocks. Yeah. Uh, right, Adam, I need to make a knock check. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, you knock on the door. Rely on your skills and training. Wait for a few moments. <laughs> Don't hear anything. Shen! Nothing. Maybe she got up already. I'm sorry. I... Do we do we see his walk around? I, oh I yeah. Assume so yeah. Yeah, Zwak okay. would have been accompanying me, chilling, probably like on my shoulder or something. Damn, my Zwak <laughs> theory. Actually, it might still work. Can Zwak turn into? A woman with a knife. Uh, can you turn into a woman with a knife? And then Zwak is just like, Zwak? <laughs> Hands on hips. <laughs> you gotta be honest with us now, Zwak, if you were a shape bender. Yeah. I've got my eye on you. <laughs> you should probably get day up. Uh, yeah. That's true. I'm not on. I'm not on Day's door. Also, normally, standard knock. Yeah, classic. Good approach. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't like, go wrong. Like that's gonna be the running joke for the rest of the game. <laughs> like our secret knock is just knocking. A normal. Knock. <laughs> a normal. If no one knows not if it don't it's not a normal knock, don't answer the doors. It's, 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 <laughs> Right. If, if, if they try to hit you up the nah, it's a trap. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> not one of us. Trust. Trust. <laughs> not like that. Uh, yeah. Uh, is is uh, day up? They, they, they would just call an affirmation. I would imagine that day at this point's been up maybe for a little bit, just doing some morning meditation, being disrupted by the normal knock. <laughs> if it were a sensible <laughs> knock or a calm knock, it wouldn't have not. You wouldn't have heard it. But a normal knock. Disrupting his meditation. <laughs> and so he gets up. 
Uh, Emmer just calls out, uh, confirmed Zwak is not a shapebender. Oh, have we found Zwak? That, that die is, day is going to get up and open the door and he's like, oh, did we find him? Yeah. Right there. Ah. Say, why was there a woman with a knife in your room last night? Oh, um, I, she seemed tired, so I invited her into my room. Was I interrupting oh. anything? What did you do? Well, I wanted to check in on you, make sure you were well, and instead of you answering the door, a woman with a knife answered the door. I had thought you'd gone missing, but seeing you here and knowing that you invited a woman back to your room last night, I am glad that you are in good hands. Thank you. I don't know if you were interrupting anything or not. Because I wasn't. Oh, you wouldn't know. Uh oh. Uh oh. So you gave up. You did I was not out there. Oh, you do, oh, you, oh, oh, okay. the yeah. way you've been phrasing it makes it sound like you, <laughs> like, went in the like room it, also. You invited a woman to your room. That has, yeah. Uh, that has a connotation, you see. Yeah, that. for privacy. Yes, when you, yeah, you see, you're still, privacy. you're still, <laughs> you're still doing it. Like, I feel like you're not understanding what's going on. You have to, like, or, phrase it if you, <laughs> or this is one of those intensely obtuse forms of humor that I've seen employed. I'm not sure what you're getting at. I I just saw her. I was like, "You got you got you got a sick arm," and uh, she said she needed <laughs> needed to go to sleep. So I was like, "Okay, here's my room." Okay, yeah, okay, that makes sense. So you did not have sex with this woman. <laughs> what? No. Just saying, the way the way you've been saying it makes it. Oh, yeah, it's it's fine. What was what was sick about her? I mean, she have like tattoos yeah. or something. I want yeah, I want her to show you if if she can if we find her again. I don't know. We could have been two ships passing the night, never to see each other again. Wow. Sometimes it works out that way, you know. Well, maybe you sort of actually invited her to your room instead of inviting her to your room. I I I don't know. I, I, I was out there. There's no privacy out there. Yes. Oh, anyway. I think we should have this discussion at breakfast. How about we do that? I'd rather food is, yeah. talk about this, honestly. Food is um, already being brought out. It is <laughs> sausage of some kind and eggs, and it's surprisingly good for the circumstances that you're in. But just don't ask where any of it came from. Is the cat hey. peacock still wandering around? Oh, yeah. Like, we'll just... It's tall enough that when, when someone's eating and not paying attention, they'll just reach up and just take a bite off their plate and keep walking. I will definitely be feeding the, the cat peacock. At which point it would just stop and just kind of sit by your chair, eventually just plopping itself down into a big, fluffy, feathery cat ball. Yeah. You're yeah. very cute. <laughs> Day just looks at the eggs, looks at the cat peacock, looks at the eggs, looks at the cat peacock, <laughs> looks at the eggs, <laughs> shrugs and eats the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> has, has, it, has it been taken... Has it been taking eggs off of people's plate? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. definitely seems carnivorous. Uh, you know? It'd be like that sometimes. And then Ember just <laughs> starts eating. <laughs> um, eventually, amidst your conversation and your grilling of Faye, of the, the proper etiquette of inviting someone to your uh, Dawn would step in to be greeted by you know, welcomes and cheers from some of the, the patrons nearby tables, as this place is more crowded than you've seen yet. 
probably a good two dozen people all talking, enjoying each other's company and drinks and meals. Uh, no one really giving you much. But Don passes by everyone, you know, greeting them, asking them just very basic questions about how they've been, you know, their travels. Eventually makes his way to our table. He'll pull up a chair, sit. Did you give any more thought to my proposition? We probably should have talked about that a bit more instead of Bay and his guest. <clears throat> did rest. But... Mentally and physically, you no. needed rest. Yeah. Well, I guess we can talk about it now. Um, and I look to everybody one by one and I go, what do you think? Personally, I'm willing to do it for now. It is certainly a direct course of action. I do not think it solves the underlying issue at hand. But if it allows these people a chance at comfort and security. I cannot say no. You know, the bucket to drop at a time, right? Not a full splash, just a drop. Yeah. Very well. I would be lying if I said that I hadn't anticipated your answer already. And they'll just kind of lay across the table a few, uh, kind of like badges, like we'll wear around your neck. These will get you into Crystal Horizon for visitors here to look over the factory. Safety reasons as an artistic, whatever you decide your best color. These will get you in the door. And if you decide to tell them the truth and tell them of our plan and our existence, well, that's what you believe to be best. That's a lot of faith to be placing in a group of relative strangers. That have a destiny. If I'm to play a part in it, then so be it. If not, looks over at Faye. Like passing ships in the night. Yeah. <laughs> Were you eavesdropping on us? Not exactly eavesdropping. Just have a tendency of Overhearing thing. Unintentional. It's a curse. It sounds like eavesdropping. But yeah, fine. All right. Um, visitors got it. Cool beans. All right. Um, uh, this place, I'm not super familiar with Republic City as of recent uh, days. How heavily guarded is it? Oh, guarded? Uh, should be none at all. It's a factory. Great. Great. Have workers there, which, if it were me, I would not want to hurt anyone there. They are all innocent. At all. I believe using my connections as such as they are we should be able to enter the factory acquire the information and abscond with little effort the badges certainly do help so. yeah. well, good luck if you get arrested you know who to call 
not you. <laughs> exactly. Like, don't... Okay. <laughs> I was like, I was gonna say, like, um, I looked at everybody else and I said, go, yeah, it's probably, uh, even if there are no guards, it's probably best to try to keep this as quiet as possible because there's a lot of Fire Nation soldiers here because, you know, the Avatar and whatnot. Right. Honestly, from my perspective, I don't even consider this a deception. If this company is as they say, I'm certain. My, I'm certain my family would be keenly interested in learning about its ins and outs anyway, on a more legitimate side. Simply using that in and getting the information we want from it, I I do not see that as any deception at all. Simply doing something that would have happened in time anyway, accelerating the timeline. And if we happen to use that information for extraneous means, mm. it has to be the wiser. Yeah, to to clarify, Don, are, are you good with us just getting this recipe? Or do you need the recipe to change? Whatever you think best helps. Certainly us having the recipe would believe cause less, cause less disturbance and get them to change the recipe altogether. I believe but you'll find so the right Zai... answer. Okay. So Zai and the other glass benders, though, they'd be able to, with the recipe, change their glass bending technique to be able to bend it? It would take Time, but be up to the challenge. Uh, it would allow them to grow with the time, as it were, not be left behind. Exactly. Not be cut out from innovations that, if anything, they should be the ones spearheading as masters of their uh, craft. Yes. We you believe you're right. I have many guests to attend to. Many... Deals, Jack. Good luck. Uh, before Don leaves, uh, Mayari is gonna just kind of like try to stop him and pull him aside. Yes. Kim, she's she's okay. She's oh, gonna. Yes, very much so. Very much looking forward to returning to you. Long conversation and. Mind, I do. Okay. Okay. Thank oh, you. I know you all appreciate honesty. As honest with me. I appreciate it. If Kim desires some privacy, I think it's best to give her some time. Yeah. Turn, head up to the bar, grab a, a cup of something, just down it while going over to yes. it and chat with some of the. Um, Ember, Ember, like, uh, finishes his food and, like, slaps his hands on the table. Not too hard, but, you know, enough. Um, and stands up and goes, All right, let's move out. And he starts walking. <laughs> I'm not even checking to see if anybody's following him. Just, just going. <laughs> Day to be much slower and more resolute. I already make sure. Oh, I was gonna say it's like make that like, helps Mayori stand and just again takes up the back, makes sure that there's a nice you know. Not like pushing her forward, making sure there's someone you know behind her, so she's not being completely left behind. Well, the two of you would see in Ayari's pack a big old purple feather just sticking up out of it. Oh God! <laughs> just just one. You made a new friend. Uh, I guess I have. 
hi, buddy. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, pull the pack in a little bit for just a little, a little squish, and then uh, walk alongside Day. You, you do see the the cat peacock still, you know, making the rounds, but kind of watches you get up, walk towards the door, and. Gives you that same like her paw sound, then returns to the hunt for more food. Okay, so it just left a feather in my pack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. I mean, this I... this thing total is probably about 60, 70 pounds. I it was is... surprised when I got in my pack, but yeah, <laughs> but I was with it. <laughs> yes, I will happily take the feather with me. It's more like like a bobcat than like a house cat. Oh mm. yes. I imagine the sound some sounds something on my mind of like mm -hmm. <laughs> And then <laughs> that <laughs> continuously as an alarm clock. I hate that. Lovely. <laughs> Here for it. Uh but yeah, you're all able to head out in the main you know, tunnel system, climb your way back up towards the streets, and are greeted by the absolute glare of sunshine that is just beaming down on you after not seeing natural light for many hours. Oh, yeah, natural light. That's a thing. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, um, Ember actually hisses. <laughs> <laughs> Mayari's monocle that is under I think what was it it's on the left eye with the bangs usually hanging down on it uh, starts to go a, like a darker shade as it transitions with the sunlight beating oh, down on it sick love it uh, uh, well your your moments of letting your eyes adjust to the this vicious sunlight is cut a little bit short as you all hear shouts coming from the street. And Faye, you see a very familiar individual sprinting down the street, that mechanical arm just gleaming in the sunlight, being chased by the Republic City Police. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna run towards her and say, "What's up?" <laughs> she will take a moment to look at you, <laughs> just take a half second to think, and then immediately cuts a sharp left towards you. Great! I've got some friends. I want to see your arm. You're all hear a, a, a small squad of voices call out, Hey! Hey! Hey, you! Gesturing towards all of you now as she has <laughs> run up, sprinted behind you, it, using you for actual cover. Oh, oh, okay. Do we... Do we... Are we... Yeah, I form I form a wall. <laughs> <laughs> I, I Are like, we ru we're running or oh, stay? Whoever 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 she ran behind, I just scoot next to really close and was going sorry, just just go along with it. <laughs> okay. I will my Ari will stand up straighter. Don't you move. Hand her over now. Hand who over? The girl, the thief. Now. What? What did she take? Gen gen gentlemen, gentlemen, please. I, I think there must have been a form of, perhaps misunderstanding. Um, allow me to introduce myself, officers. Um, I am Dai Zizin of the Zizin household. Um, recently arrived in Empire City, uh, Republic City, but I'm sure you are aware with my family I have here. Um, 
What business do you have with a member of my household? You would all see two arms just reaching out from behind you all as two middle fingers just direct themselves towards the And Jay just like Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, that, that third arm of mine sometimes <laughs> has a mind of its own. You need some privacy for that? If, <laughs> if you want to collect your delinquent friend, you can do so down at the police station. Now move. Uh, surely there must be something that, uh, some what? misunderstanding that's been happening. Opposite. What was taken? What is the situation? That is none of your business. That is a police matter. Just hand the girl over. Now, if it is a police matter, certainly it should be a matter of public record. Correct? You can see that they are getting rapidly more and more agitated. I, as a in, as a citizen of a public city, I'm aware of the rights of its constituents. From behind you all, you hear took a bunch of their stuff. Now they're mad that I got away with it. Bunch of sore losers. You don't admit it. You, you don't, don't ever say Don't it. rub it in. Don't rub it in. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't say, you don't say that you did it. You, you have the right to remain silent and all that. Um, <laughs> sorry, that, that second mouth of mine acts up <laughs> occasionally. <laughs> yeah. How much, um, Andrew, how much money would it be feasible for Day to have on his person? Bribery. I, you tell me. <laughs> Right. I'm not. I'm not sure if this, if this is a game that like really tracks finances at all. Not really. Like, okay. Like he is from a wealthy household, so I figured he would just have like you know enough amounts. It's just like all right. Just... It doesn't seem to be about the value. It seems to be about what was specifically taken. Some th very personal objects that were taken. And unless any of you are stopping them, they're about to initiate right. some combat. Okay. I'm going to throw um, out a challenge. <laughs> oh. If I, if I see them starting to square up, I'm going to yeah. go to whoever was talking and, and I'm going to I'm going to issue a challenge to them and I'm going to say Don't do it or you'll regret it. I'll oh, snap. God. Uh, and I'm going to roll with passion for this. Yeah, please do. Hey, I hope you like this person oh, that's a lot. A, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's a that's a 10. Nice. Uh, so uh, if I'm victorious, I get to choose. I mean, uh, on the hit, you want to fight, blah, blah, blah. On the 10, clear all fatigue at the end of the fight if you are victorious. Uh, and I'm gonna, and I get to choose one of the things of the list from challenge. Uh, if that's if I win the fight, though. If you win, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he'll just kind of look between all of you, look at the others behind him, just reach up and like kind of start undoing some of the pieces of the the military armor just let him fall off oh when your friends broken and unconscious on the ground we're hauling you off to jail i hope you know that okay but when our friend is not <laughs> you let us take our friend and our friend will give back whatever she took from you and we'd get to go sure yeah <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, this also says, sorry, this also says your challenge goes them to impressive heights, so they may, uh, <laughs> this, this person may take an extra technique in, <laughs> in every exchange for the duration oh of the fight. Oh my gosh! <laughs> 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 Oh, amazing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's um, fine, though. Let's I'm go, Prodigy. I mean, yeah, I am great, so it's fine. Uh, okay. Well, then we're about to have some one-on-one -on -one combat. Fight, 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 fight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you all see Ember, he also, he takes off his jacket, um, and hands it to Faye. Um, and you see the steam start to rise from him as his, as his, the core of him starts heating up like a furnace. Mayari's going to come up and do the whole, like, coat shoulder rub thing. <laughs> it is hot. <laughs> Ooh, and then whisper. And there's more steam just from her water bendiness. Um, <laughs> but she, <laughs> she's going to go, remember the foot thing, 90 degrees. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> All right. Okay. I, I am, I so, am way that combat works, that at the top of each exchange, decide if you want to, uh, which technique you want to uh, use, either defend a maneuver, advance an attack, or evade and observe. Anyone who chose defend a maneuver goes first. <laughs> And who chose advance and attack goes second, and then evade and observe goes last. Once everyone has gone, we go back to the very top and everyone chooses again. So, Ember, what are you going mm -hmm. with? Um, I'm going with uh, defending a maneuver, actually. Then you're going to get to go first. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my uh, steady stance. Um, he again. He heats up. His feet are ninety degrees. <laughs> he like oh. he does the thing where he like where he like where he like scoots out his feet into a stance, and it's it's like rock solid. And he just kind of goes and holds a hand out and does the yeah. Yes. Uh, this this allows me to um, uh, any foes engage with you who choose to attack in advance. This exchange must mark one fatigue. And I get to negate the first condition or negative status inflicted on me in this exchange. Nice. Uh, if if no conditions or statuses were inflicted on me, I become empowered for the next one. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh, sorry. I to roll. Yeah, you need to roll. Yeah. No. So, defend a maneuver is rolling with focus. With focus. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Oh. Don't roll low. Uh, I think I did. I didn't actually. Uh, <laughs> so that is. Oh my eight. gosh. That's a five. <laughs> so he oh, doesn't no. do that. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Were you the one that you, got the You hero have a hero point? point. Oh, yeah. I will do that. Reroll! Reroll! <laughs> uh, okay. How does that. Do goodness. I get to reroll? Just reroll the whole thing. Oh. Okay, cool. Cool. I'm going to use a different die for it, too. Just... <laughs> that's better. Uh, so that Nicole. is. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that's eight. <laughs> eight. You get to use one basic or mastered technique. So that that is what I. Do. So that's your stance. <laughs> that's right. it. Uh, sorry, and one more time. What did that do? Uh, it, it it's on the it's in the the prodigy. Oh, gotcha, prodigy, gotcha. The master mode. Any foe who engage with you who chose attack in advance must mark one fatigue. Okay, so definitely marking a fatigue. Yes! And you negate Stop. the first condition or negative status effect inflicted on you in this exchange. That's great. Because mm -hmm. um, he gets three moves. <laughs> Wonderful. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Which we're going to start with pressure. As <laughs> it just squares up and just immediately is in your face with just blows just kind of more testing your speed than anything not necessarily trying to land that knockout punch but just putting you through the paces 
Um, so next turn, you cannot choose advance and attack. Ooh. Awesome. Dang. And then we are going to... We're going to strike. You can either Dude. mark two fatigue, uh, mark a condition, or shift your balance away from its center. Let's see. Uh, so I can either mark two fatigue or shift my balance? Yeah, mark, mark two it. fatigue, a condition, or shift your balance away from Yeah, but if you get a condition, <laughs> then it just becomes negated, so... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't take the condition. <laughs> you would take a condition, but your military training just helps you stand firm. Yes! Like smoke comes from his nose. Yeah. And then last action might as well be a smash. We'll mark one more fatigue. And just, just goes back for this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like finally starting to put together your your defenses just reels back for a massive hit which you sidestep, but it just slams into the street and just creates this little crater on impact. Yes. Um, we're going to inflict. We're going to inflict impaired. As the street is literally now cracked and off balance, kind of throwing off your footing. Uh, so you either take one fatigue or you take minus two to all physical action. I will take one fatigue. Nope. And that's it. The top that that is the end of the first exchange. Would you like to throw in the towel? No. <laughs> Second round. You got this. <laughs> yes. I, I'm Ember. I'm the prodigy. I don't throw in towels. People, other people throw in towels. <laughs> what would you like to go with? Uh, I'm going to go with defend and maneuver again because I can't advance and attack. Correct. Use their uh, power against them. Roll with your focus. Rolling. Oh, nice. That's a that's yeah. a twelve. Yes! Yeah! Oh my gosh! Instead, choose one from this list. You can mark one fatigue, use a learned technique, you can use one practice technique, or two different basic or master techniques. Uh, and, it, and it has to be different in maneuver, correct? Yes. Okay, so I will use... Uh, I will use two basic techniques. All right. Okay. Um, can you mix, can you mix and match them between basic and mastered? No. Oh, okay. So oh, wait. It's either two basic. Yes. Yes, you can. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you could use steady uh, stance in a basic technique if you wanted to. Sick. Oh goodness. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm going to use um, steady stance once more, mm -hmm. um, and retaliate. That's it. That's it. You got oh, this. Yeah. Combo. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, that is fantastic. For just this pressure, this individual is putting on this nonstop assault. You were just in this pure defensive mode of just sidestepping everything, parrying blows off to the side. The, that training absolutely just kicking in. Which I don't think any of you have seen this side of Ember before. Yeah. He, he's, he is stone-faced, uh, just, just unmoving. <laughs> he's like an immovable object right now. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Ayari is tracking it all, <laughs> just absolutely enthralled. Yeah, I, I have I have never seen someone pop off as cold as Ember right now. Like, right? He's, he's, it's like a hundred and ten percent of it's like a hundred and ten percent, but it's also Luigi wins by doing absolutely nothing. Like, it's like, wow, <laughs> yeah, how is he so cool? <laughs> yeah, he's clearly like, getting of, <laughs> clearly getting frustrated now. Getting hit by stuff. By lightning. <laughs> it's true. It's true. 
<laughs> Had a this, lot of lows, that's how. This individual will, like, step up, just further pressing the advance to the point where Ember is starting to have trouble remaining in this defensive, you know, wave so far in the fight. So he's going to pressure you in that you cannot use Defend and Maneuver next round. <gasps> okay. <laughs> You get to attack. <laughs> nice. And then, I'm gonna strike you twice. You can either mark two fatigue, mark your condition, or shift your balance away from center. Uh, I will mark two fatigue. Um. Uh. And I believe that also makes him mark two fatigue. He must fatigue, also correct? mark a. Oh. oh yeah. He Total, he's going to mark three fatigue. Because uh, retaliate, yeah. right? Yeah, because yeah. of the steady stand. Yeah. One Dang. Retaliate. yeah. Yeah, knock him. <laughs> right. Knock this person out. <laughs> he's getting tired. Um, but then he's going to strike again. So you can mark two more fatigue, mark a condition, or shift your balance away from center. Uh, I will shift my balance away from center. Uh, is there a specific okay. direction or? Nope, just away from center. Yeah. So if you're well, you already can... headed one direction, you'd have to continue that direction. Yeah. I mean, you, uh... can, you, can, you can take the condition and ignore it because you still have Teddy Chance active, right? Yeah, that's right. You do. That's true. I keep forgetting but... about that. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first real fight you've had since you've been here. Would you say that this would start shifting your balance? Oh, I, mean, I, I that's that's kind of why I said to shift the balance because I feel like he's starting to like feel feel himself again after <laughs> so long, feeling alive. Oh, my goodness, yeah, it's perfect. Yep. So, um, yeah, he's shift, he's shifting his balance over. Yeah, and that's it towards excellence. That's the end of the second exchange. He's clearly feeling this the the weight of this fight with how much you're able to dodge and evade everything. Starting to breathe heavily. The blows are starting to slow a bit. Also, uh, you're empowered. Because you didn't clear a what condition. Do, what does that mean? This is true. I am empowered for the next one. Yeah. Yep. Um, uh, at, this... at, the end, at the end of this exchange, you'll clear one fatigue. Nice. Dang. Not even breaking a sweat. So yeah. I'm, in, I'm, empowered, I'm, in, I'm empowered for the next one, and so after after the next one to finish that clear one, is that how it works? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, next I'm round. I'm going to advance and attack this time. Yes. He is going to defend and maneuver. <laughs> okay. Okay. Switching it up. Um. He is going to retaliate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> By just kind of forcing you to start engaging, he's now able to give himself a little bit of a breather and take a more defensive stance. Um, I think we ready up. Gonna ready up, uh, mm -hmm. assign favorite to himself. Mm -hmm. Wow! But he gets to choose an additional basic move in the next exchange, likely going to be hopefully a finishing blow. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and in the attrition here, sees a new position, which is basically just kind of moving this fight where he's got a natural high ground just you know, the terrain just starts to slope upwards and you you are literally fighting an uphill battle so you can mark one fatigue oh wait no you can mark one fatigue to block this technique Ooh. 
this is a big one. <laughs> oh snap! Uh, I will not. Actually, I will not. The fight gets <laughs> shifted, and your footing is just a little bit off as you are now fighting uphill. But it's over to you. All right. Come Let's on. Go. This is with passion. Yes. With passion. That is a ooh, that's a six. Oof. Um, I'm going to use my last team to give you a plus one. <laughs> oh yes! <laughs> it's a six. Let's go. Nice. Like, Absolutely. I just like as they're fighting this up battle guy like catches like where the person's foot is like just quite like off center and just like points out like yo attack there yeah <laughs> all right awesome. you get a basic so, or master technique of your choice i'm going to use fire blade yeah oh, um, snap! <laughs> <laughs> um, so ember ember is like it tur turns around to see him after after day's help and just goes you see the heat start to rise and again more steam comes off of him and again he um from from horizontally this time from left to right he just goes like this with his fingers and you see a line of flame and then it shoots out uh and i get swipe my surroundings with a, f a blade of flame i mark one fatigue and slice through a piece of your surroundings and destabilize your foe's footing uh, so it, it lands right at right at his feet, um, yes. inflicting two fatigue Ooh. and impaired on them. And Dang! because I'm empowered, because I'm empowered, I don't take that fatigue because it's the end of the. Yep. <laughs> yes. Woo! As that fire blade just whips out, people that have kind of started to stop and watch and are like cheering on this fight, all just take a. A step back and there's just this gasp throughout the crowd as there's you know sudden fire bending and this individual that had been using the high ground now no longer any footing underneath of him just slips hits the ground and just skids past you clearly exhausted drained um but in where you would expect a fighter to just be down and out by the time he, you know, slid to the bottom, he back to his feet and just glaring at you. Uh, because he has strong as iron. When he would go out of the fight, uh, he does. The fight is over. But you mark a condition. Oh. Which one? In... You just saw this individual take what may be your best to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. And even though you won, they, they're clearly at they're clearly near your level. Whatever you feel like that would inflict as a I would say insecure, but I didn't have that one, so I'm gonna go angry. That makes oh. sense to me. Snap. Because uh, I just I just gave him my best and he took it still. Makes sense to um me. uh but because I won, right? I won. Um, all clear, I clear all fatigue. All, all the fatigue. Um because yes. I got a, I got a 10, I believe, on the roll, if I remember yep. correctly. Uh, and I get to I get to choose one of these things that my opponent must do. Um so angry, <laughs> he walks up to him. And he puts a hand on his shoulder and squeezes and goes, Next time, you'll be on my side. <laughs> and uh, he he has to take my side in the future conflict. Oh! He sure does. Oh. Reverse police brutality, baby. <laughs> It just looks at you, and there, there's clearly anger in return. But then that look kind of softens and eventually turns into something of a smile. And he just holds a hand up for you to help him stand. 
I angrily do. <laughs> I'm mad, <laughs> but I do. <laughs> Oh, hell of a fighter. Uh, reluctantly, he goes, you too. Get her out of here. I oh, see man. you in these streets again. Friends aren't going to save you. Make sure you put some aloe on that when you get home. <laughs> Just limps over, picks up the armor, looks out at the crowd. Are you staring at? Back to your jobs, your shops, whatever. Wait. What's your name? Ramon. I'll remember that. Amber. Nods and continues walking. Did I just watch a JoJo fight? <laughs> God, that was... Amber, Amber then just like... <laughs> real, real low. <laughs> incredible that was incredible oh it's uh, I, I walk over to Fane and get him a jacket man yeah but, yeah thanks thank you uh, it was uh, uh, all in a day's work hope it was worth the trouble yeah check uh, Shen are you cool showing them your arm have any of you kept an eye on Shen? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, Shen was clearly waiting for the moment where no one was looking, but the moment just never really came. Like, I, I, I want to imagine that Day, like, moves behind Shen and is watching the fight. And, like, in that brief moment that it looks like Day, like, looks away to use the, uh, the call out, Shen just feels his hand on her shoulder. <laughs> uh, now, a a much better, like cleaner sight than what you saw after traveling. Um, it is a nineteen twenty year old female. This long, just dark, dark black hair that you know, pulls in the traveler's cloak, but as the cloak is pulled back, it just kind of spills out from the, the front of the cloak. Uh, and yeah, one arm is purely mechanical. She's kind of now just staring all, up at all of you, like, like, oh god, now I have to deal with them. From the... the from one problem to another. So you must. Hi. You must be this Shen that they told me so much about. Be me. These are my friends, Shen. Meet you. Thank you for that. Of course. Uh. If you don't mind, I'm going to shift my balance a little bit because I feel um, like just standing here is is a loyalty thing. <laughs> I, I would say so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that <tracks. laughs> You know. Yeah, I would say so. What is it that you stole from those officers? It's really nothing. Not even that valuable. They're some of their personal effects I may have planned to sell off. But they, no, no, they were aware. very rude to me when I got here. They deserve Are you aware of the laws that you have? I don't mean the laws up here. I mean the laws down there. Don's made it very clear to us, at least, that 
he does not condone this stealing of personal mementos and effects. Well, actually, Don stole my personal memento. Or yeah, effect, so see, bunch of thieves down there too, right? Not I... excusing your actions. Excuse me. Sorry. We just stuck our neck out for you. Namely, Ember did. Um, and we should keep moving here. But, I mean, Day has a point. You say that the things didn't have value. They clearly had personal value, even if it was a monetary value. So. Yeah, they were rude. They deserved it. Okay, what does rude mean? Didn't like that I stowed away in some ships and faked some identification and maybe wasn't exactly who I said I was. I mean, who does that? Yeah, I'm uh... anyone who does that is probably <laughs> one of the worst people in my book looks at Faye. <laughs> right? What are you doing there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Yeah, and they tried to hold me in their their jail cell just because I lied a little bit. They were very rude and very aggressive, so I might have hit a few of them on my way out. Yeah. Okay. So, Day, surprisingly quickly, if he can, mm -hmm. is going to just spin his staff in his head and just conquer on the head real quick. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! There's, you. there's like a a moment where you, you can see like sparks kind of start gather along that arm. It in no way seems voluntary. And even before she really has a chance to react to the pain, just looks down at the arm, eyes wide, and goes no, 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 and just starts like fidgeting with it frantically. Can Faye move forward? And I, 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 I'm thinking of it like part of it is okay, I'm gonna like help with the malfunctioning thing, but the second part of it is that Faye is gonna put himself between Day and uh, and Shen in case there's any sort of retaliation. Yes. So, Shen, like, can I take a look? You are rude to me and my friends, and so I'm, I I'm sorry. A... I'm sorry. You're you're right. I thank you. Thank thank you for standing up for me. And is like the eyes are shifting, like up to you for a moment, back down to the arm, back up to you, back to the arm. I, I okay, but I, also, I didn't mean to cause you serious serious harm. I, I are you are you all right? Yeah, I'm. 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 I'm gonna be. I'm fine. I just. Like starts looking around. Um, um. Like I'll, 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 I'll find you later. And like starts, just going. Doesn't seem to have any direction. Is just looking for for anything. Can I, can I chase? Oh, go ahead. Yeah. I was gonna say, can I? Can I attempt to move here? Please. Oh snap! Yeah. Because I would like. For my new friend, oh. who now day is like, oh. I'm going to teach a lesson. Oh shit, I went too far. Oh no, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so now day is like on the back foot, scrambling to be like, uh, hey, uh, let me roll some dice. Yep. Okay, that is an eleven on an attempt to nice dice. <laughs> Woo. Uh, uh, let me pull up what that means exactly, and I. What this basically looks like is like day like reaching forward and being like, "Hey, you, know, I have a place we can go for a little bit. If you need to, you need to chill. You need to, if you need to, relax. If you need to, you know, take some time away from the. You can come with us. You don't need to be afraid of us. You don't need to be afraid of yourself." You don't need to be afraid at all. So, fun fact about her mechanically is that if she ever suffers fatigue, uh, there's a chance that her arm just goes off. 
It just does oh, what no. it wants. <laughs> oh um, my gosh. And she is also absolutely going to shut you down. Okay, absolutely. You've never met a person, I'm assuming, with bigger trust issues than Shen. Nope. <laughs> oh god. Do they choose the condition, or do I have to pick a condition? They inflict a condition on you, and you shift their balance. But you get to choose the condition. Okay. Um. Oh, absolutely guilty here. Like, oh, makes no. sense to me. <laughs> I, I struck a person, and now they are panicking. Oh no, what have I done? Uh, you're going to shift her principle of freedom. Um... Yeah, you just shift their balance. I don't think it determines which way you shift it. What what's the two or is it is it between two options? NPCs only get one. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It just goes from zero to their full end of whatever their principle is. And hers is freedom. Okay. I am going to I don't know where it currently stands, but shift it away from the end of it, back towards back zero. towards zero. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, she's just kind of entering this state of panic. In As you're offering this, you can see it, the, it clicking in her mind, like the wheels turning of like, maybe, maybe. I, no, 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 no. We've, we've been here before. Nope. I, I'm sorry. I, I can't. I'm not, a, I'm not doing this again. I'm not putting you in danger. Shen, please just at least let... Faye's really good with technology. Just let him take a look at your arm at least before yeah. you go. I knocked like three guys out yesterday. Day, Day is going to put up an arm between Faye and Mayari and Shen, just kind of resolutely nod at Shen as he's scrambling away and just try to stop people from pursuing. Just let let her let her have her time, please. The arm does stop sparking. Kind of and it catches her feet and her breath. I appreciate everything you've done. I really do. I I just need to find someone to help. I mean, if you're if you're back down in the hideout, right? Hopefully, I'll be there. Let's not hope. Just be there. My best. Yeah. Um, if you're there, try to get the same room, and we'll, well, you'll know it's us. We'll just give you a standard knock on the door. Standard knock. It's very normal. Just a <laughs> regular knock. You're making it sound very not normal. It's just the normal one. If if there's any weirdness to it, you know it's not it's us. It's not us. You couldn't be making this sound any more weird. <laughs> it's foolproof. I guarantee it. Just just go. Just, just I'm gonna, go. I'm gonna go. <laughs> it, you know, flips the cloak back up and tucks the arm away and just kind of appears. The crowd of people. Learn to be better. Alright. Question. That... <laughs> uh, did the challenge count as a foolhardy action? <laughs> um I uh, yeah. If you if you would like to declare that as one, yeah. I think it would qualify. Because <laughs> uh, it says to be one of the <laughs> Get a full hearty action without consulting yeah. your friends. <laughs> yes! Absolutely qualifies. You took on a trio of Republic City police officers in a showdown in the middle of the street in broad daylight. And then I told them my name after. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's the price of being a warrior, you know? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so good. But uh, Ember, Ember still seems a little heated. 
literally and figuratively. Um, I, no, literally and emotionally. That's the way to go. Um, but he, he just goes, all right, um, shall we get going? Yeah. Um, yes. Mayari will open her flask and pull out some water like standing behind ember and just kind of like essentially let it float up and cool just the back of his neck like a cooling pad thank you yeah sorry sometimes was... get <laughs> i was just gonna say that was kick ass <laughs> It was, wasn't it? Yeah. That was an absolutely incredible display, Amber. Thank you. I appreciate I it. It's a lot of hard work to get there. I would hazard against getting into street brawls with the city officials in the future. But if you're going to do so, you must continue fighting at that level. Nothing less. Yes. Yes. We'll justify it. Yes. It as long as you keep doing that, you have my permission. I imagine we're going to get into a lot more um, trouble. Hmm. Hmm. That um, I cannot. Okay. Yeah. And what? as we walk, I. I was just going to say, he's like, shall we? <laughs> we shall. Um, and as we walk, I think Mayari's going to take that cool water once it's heated and then fling it down to Ember's foot and kick it out 90 degrees. Just as a reminder. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. I, I know I did it, you saw. I did. <laughs> It actually was. It actually was sound advice. I know you were. I feel like you were like just trying to annoy me, but like you actually changed a lot. Well, I'm glad I helped. Thank you. In a much different tone, someone does call out after you. Not not nearly as aggressive. This is much more friendly. But it's, hey. Hey, 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 excuse me, excuse me. Yes, yes, you, you all. Uh, that was, that was magnificent. That was spectacular. I, that was the, the rush of seeing uh, such, such, such martial skills on display. And, and an older gentleman just kind of pushes himself through the crowd to get to you. Almost entirely balding, but doesn't look like it's from old age. Um... Clearly, you know, bruised, maybe was a talented fighter back in his heyday. Now, a tad overweight, but still has just this sparkle in his eye. It, you, you, <laughs> have you ever thought about professional bending? Me? Yes. Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, like, I am pretty cool with professional bending. Do you have an in? Do you know how we can sign up? Yes, there is an amateur league that I may or may not be looking for a team to sponsor. Oh my gosh. We're your team right here. And, Wait, and what? There's another one. Oh what? my goodness. Wait, hang on. Sorry. I'm sorry. I remembering what Day has said in the past. Would you give me one moment? Who are you? Uh I'm moment, I'm the manager. Uh so Day, Mayari, Amber. I think y'all should do it. And with Kim. I was going to say I am not a bender. I am I have no stake in this. But however you've been able you've been able to change 
everyone from the inside. You're a you're like a heart bender. A heart bender. That's... Would that be what? Would that be water bending? I... Or... I mean, I think that's blood bending, really. <laughs> I will assume a position of a confidant and a one who uplifts a team. Is there a term for that? That's called a coach. Ah, a coach. I, I'm still not entirely sure what pro bending is. What, what's, what is this? Ah, it is a it is a spectator sport essentially that involves a team of vendors, a fire, air, and earth vendor specifically, if I remember correctly, uh, participating against other teams in a competition. It's effectively, hmm. bending for sports very sim has some combat elements, but there is also the game to it. I'm Wait. not familiar with the rules so you're what you're saying is i can show off how awesome i am in front of people all the time Absolutely. well not all sign the time but yes sign me up i mean did you i mean i know you look at me like i'm great mm, yeah. and you were looking for a purpose weren't you <laughs> You, was, you, was, you you don't have to you didn't have to go yeah yeah um <clears throat> no yeah i was oh, just looking for something to pass the time yeah sure totally me too i mean <laughs> if ember's down i'm down and if i'm down maybe kim will be down we'll see if we, if we can convince kim that is an entire team and with faye serving as our manager and i as your coach that does give us all some way to contribute to this Yes. Wait, are we really doing this? Where's the Where's the man who was the the person who was talking to us? He's <laughs> actively right been creeping closer to eavesdrop <laughs> this entire conversation. <laughs> yeah. So you're in. Are we? I'm in. Yeah. Right. don't have my equipment with me. I don't imagine you all have any pro bending gear. Pads, uniforms, training equipment. No, okay. You don't. It's it's fine. It's fine. I have it all. It's still on my ship. They'll be unloading it hopefully by tomorrow. Uh, like, take out a piece of paper, write down an address. Come here. This is my warehouse. We'll set up a training facility. I can't pay you exactly until you've actually won the uh, inner tournament. But what from there, we'll start making money. Okay. Uh, man manager, how does that sound? Uh, <laughs> I imagine Faye... Like, hearing all that has just been jazz the entire time. <laughs> he's taken out pens already and, like, stamps. Because he's like, so do we sign or is it, like, you know, <laughs> fingerprints or what? Come by my warehouse tomorrow. We'll cover all the details. We'll, dis we'll discuss the uniform. Oh, my wife is a wonderful uh, artist and seamstress. And just, oh, she'll, she'll design the best uniforms you've ever seen. Okay. Right. Right. Oh, this is, this is exciting. She's, she thought that I wouldn't be able to find a team in time. <laughs> that was her. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, um. Oh. Um. What, what were your names? We'll, we'll come up with names. It's it, it's it's all about showmanship, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Like great, great. We'll do it tomorrow. Yes. 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 They'll turn uh, and, and just did. start marching off. Didn't give us didn't give us his name. Okay, but that's yeah, it's fine. You know. <laughs> the warehouse we, address. We, we know where he is. Yeah. Um, I didn't expect that. Okay. Um. Yeah. Maybe, maybe Don wasn't so off about us having a destiny after all. 
what is our destiny pro bending? <laughs> the best. It might be a way to make a change. A yes, yes. What a weird but, day. With, let's with go. Skill, with fame comes notoriety. With notoriety comes influence. Hmm. It is an hmm. avenue. An avenue to change. Perhaps small, a little bit at a time. It seems Faye agrees with me. Absolutely. We'll become the best pro benders in Republic City. It's like in character. I was like, yes. Yes. <laughs> well, pro bending is tomorrow. Today we have a task. That's right. We've got Crystal Horizon Glassworks. Hey, Faye. To visit. Where's Zwok? Where is Zwok? I don't know. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was a five. For, okay. for, for Zwok's best yeah. effort, there's nothing around. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, oh, he's right here the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Totally innocent. <laughs> yeah. Turning There's over a new leaf. leaf. <laughs> yeah. Where's that Fire Nation helmet at? Um. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, with that, we press on through the city to the industrial district as you stare out from kind of this shift from this beautiful tapestry of different designs and different people and you know random stalls selling various goods and aromas and sounds and music and displays of of dancing and all kinds of street entertainment and now seeing these massive factories where there is no music no it's going to sound super bleak to say this, but there's not really joy. Ooh. Places have one purpose. That's produce. Would very clearly see Crystal Horizon Glasswood. The structure itself kind of stands out from the rest by being kind of this towering building rather than being this wide manufacturing space. As you would expect, the, the walls, most of the walls are just these massive glass facades. Intricate patterns kind of woven into them. And when the sun hits, it just radiates these colors across the ground around. So, day. What's the, what's the plan? What's the like? Why? Why does your family want to come here? Well, we are philanthropists. That does include investing in businesses that we feel could do the most good wherever we may dwell. To that end, going in under the guise of looking for investors to practically form an investment opportunity and acquire what information we can on the workings of the factory and perhaps the recipe itself. Okay. Great. So then, Day, you have the notoriety. Um, and here, I'm going to try to use my move Here's the plan. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, okay. I had to roll with creativity first, mm -hmm. but we'll see. Got we'll this. see if there are any issues here. Uh, okay, that is a nine. So I get to hold Whoop. two. So... Um, I'll get to spend these while our plan is being carried out to aid someone to add one to their role. 
um, after they've rolled to call out a warning or command to reduce fatigue that's marked by one or to rally someone to negate a condition they might suffer. But essentially, Faye is going to be like, so you're day. You are the, of course, the, the, the executive here. And maybe um, Ember and Mayari could be bodyguards because you're important day. And so, of course, wherever you go, we have to make sure you're safe. Um, and I'll just be here. I'll, I'll take notes. I'll be your, like, receptionist. I'll take notes for you um, along the way. Um, does that sound okay with you? I was merely going to have you serve as my entourage, but having more specific roles, I think, does lend well to the, to the ruse. Great. Great. Excellent idea, Faye. Thank yeah. you, Day. Anyone not on board? I'm here for it. I mean, I feel like the only thing Mayari is like poking up about is that Ember looks like definite bodyguard, and Mayari <laughs> looks like bodyguard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Mayari, I saw what you did on the waters. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Okay. I, I believe I, I know I feel like I, I I can do it. I just um I don't know if I look that part exactly, but I'll maybe that's the sleeper thing. You know Exactly. Maybe. Exactly. Okay. The one you least right. suspect. Right. Right. I have to ask because you do get a minus one for each companion who is not on board with this plan. But it sounds like everyone is on board. And if anyone abandons this plan mid mission, they must mark a condition. Okay. Ooh. Okay. All right. I'm ready. Let's uh, go. You had you hold two. Yes. Okay. Then, with a plan in motion, gather up, head off. Towards the main office of Crystal Horizon Glassworks. You can pretty clearly see everyone that's going about their day. You can see the kind of the the hallway that leads to the back room where all of the the kilns are currently active, going you know, pouring out of their smoke that ejects from the back of the factory itself. I think I'm gonna leave it up to you. Do you want to try to tackle this tonight or do you want to save it for next time when we hopefully have the whole party here? I would prefer to hold it till next time. Also I am like yep. dying tired right now. Absolutely. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. So that, that, that last big scene was just whew. Yeah. <laughs> we'll put a pin in that for now as we bring episode three to a close. We have 12 sessions left. This is just oh, God. flying by. Dang. <laughs> hey. That'll be fun. But thank you all so much for being here. Thank you to everyone that came out to support us. I can love you. We literally can't do this without you. So, from the bottom of my heart and everyone at the Lost Caravan, we thank you. I do want to go around one more time, give everyone a chance to let you know who they are and where you can find them on the internet. We'll again go clockwise, starting for me, which means that we are starting with Caitlin. Hey, everybody. I'm Caitlin Kenny. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Kate J Kenny K E N N E Y, um, and on Instagram at Caitlin or Kenny Caitlin. Um, I am a writer for the stage, screen, and games, uh, and so if you need any writing done, hit me up. Uh, what was this? As far as Last Caravan, I will be back in two weeks to play Mayari, uh, which has been an absolute pleasure. It's been so great to play with you all, truly. I'm always looking forward to this night. Um, and then in June, we will be coming back with a second installment of uh, a myth adventure so i will be writing a mystery oh. for uh <laughs> for a pack of uh sleuths 
who solved the mystery uh, that you can find on YouTube, uh, two parts. Um, and so they'll have a new one to solve uh, in June, uh, D&D 5e. Nice. So come check that out. I'm really jazzed for it. Uh, yeah, so thank you so much. And looking forward to two weeks from now. <laughs> yes. Heck yeah. yeah. Over to Matt. Hey, I'm Matt. Uh, I was Faye. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so pumped. I'm so jazzed. We're gonna we're gonna solve these, and we get to be pro benders. What? What? <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Goodness, I'm so pumped. But I, uh, you can find me everywhere as the Improv and RPG, and that's all I've got. Thank you so much. Heck yeah! Over to Axta. Uh, hello, everybody. I am Extel. You can follow me on uh, Twitter and Instagram at Extel the King. Um, uh, you can catch me this Sunday on Altered Echo Archives for um, I forget which episode this is, but uh, another episode of Empyrean Rising where I play another uh, fighty character who's more reckless <laughs> oh, <laughs> and, and, less, and less serious than <laughs> than <Ember. laughs> <laughs> himbo himbo all the way his name is jack um uh you can uh you can also catch me on take your role uh every wednesday we just premiered our uh, first episode of sec season two of blood tax of empire the masquerade chronicle which i story tell um and it, it is a fantastic time so catch me there you can also catch me this monday on talking xp uh uh for uh, uh for ravenloft <laughs> curse of strahd game uh, and then again on Tuesday on um, uh, uh, a Pathfinder game called Shredded uh, Chronicles on Faye Fatale's channel. Uh, so it's gonna it's a great time. I got a lot of stuff going on. So come by and watch me. It's a great time. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's it for me. <laughs> and then over to Winter. Hello, uh, I am Winter. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at wdgrammary. Um, I am a game developer, game writer, um, mechanics editor, um, as well as a consultant and contractor for the Penny for a Tale Publishing Company. Um, if any of you have any you know, indie games that you are looking to have published or produce, uh, feel free to hit me up. We're always looking for new talent and new projects to get behind. We're trying to be a, a bigger voice in the indie scene, get more people's names and ideas out there. So come Hell talk yeah. to us. Also, Missy McCall. <laughs> yeah. Can't uh, wait for Kim to react to all this. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess it just leaves me. Um, I, of course, have been Andrew, your storyteller for tonight's game and for most games around here. Although you are going to see a bunch of friendly faces behind the GM's chair in the coming weeks because we have a bunch of great people that want to tell a bunch of great stories and we are here to support it. If you want to come and roll some dice with us, our casting call is currently up. You can find that on our Twitter at Lost Caravan RPG or in our Discord where we like to hang out and be a bunch of giant nerds. But that's all I got. Uh, this game is so much fun. I can't wait for the next one. Two weeks feels like so long, and then it's it's here, and then we play for like three and a half hours, and it's just it's it's gone, like that. Ah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, come join us. Two weeks, we'll do this all over again. We'll take on the the empire, the world. We'll take on capitalism. Yes. We'll take it all yes. on. Yes. Bring it down. Uh, it for Fire Lord. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna throw a raid over to our friends uh, over at Insomnia Night RPG. And with that, as always, be good people, do good things, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.